I hope everyone's doing well. Thank you for joining me for this video. We are looking here at a comparison between methyl and trifluoromethyl substituents on a benzene ring and how it affects electrophilic attack on that benzene ring. When you look here at methyl benzene, which is also called toluene, but we'll just call it methyl benzene. Here you have an alkyl group, which is an R group on your benzene ring. And your benzene ring can be symbolized as this in a very rough manner. Anyhow, when you're comparing it to trifluoromethyl benzene, what is the difference between these two items? Here you have CH3, here we have CF3. Hydrogens are electroneutral or sometimes electropositive atoms. They're certainly not electronegative. Fluorine are the most electronegative atoms. This is highly electron withdrawing. And this right here is considered electron donating. You have electron withdrawing group. Here you have electron donating group attached to your benzene. Which means in terms of an electrophilic attack on a benzene ring it's sometimes symbolized eas electrophilic attack on your benzene ring or you can also call it electrophilic aromatic substitution it's called eas aromatic meaning benzene and yeah when you look at rate of electrophilic attacks on the benzene ring this obviously is much faster than that because here your ring is activated here your ring is deactivated because of the highly electron withdrawing substituent on your benzene ring this item over here the trifluoromethyl is sucking up electrons away from your benzene ring and it's making it deactivated so when you want to add an electrophile over here the reaction is less when you want to add an electrophile over here your reaction is fast and you know this methyl group the ch3 group is known to be ortho para directing you know the trifluoromethyl will be meta directing so we're just looking at that why is this the case and let's talk about that in this video look over here at this methyl benzene or toluene and you know this is electron donating it's ortho para director and it activates your benzene ring when you have here an electrophile and if this electrophile were to attach here in the ortho position look what happens when it's attaching here in the ortho position this is what results and i'm going to show it to you over here without omission of necessary details you know in all of these you have a c6h6 in your plain benzene ring when you're looking at your plain benzene ring you have a hydrogen attached to each, each of these when it's not shown you can assume it to be present there unless the valence of carbon the four is already exceeded or it's met and you cannot have a hydrogen there but normally you would consider a hydrogen to be present anyhow you have the electrophile attached here in the ortho position right over here when the electrophile attaches obviously you're looking here at this resonance structure which will form and then it can resonate between a bunch of other items and look with the electron shuffling occurring over here this is exactly what will develop and i'll show it to you and then we'll show you all the relevant items you need to see you have your positive charge which is a carbocation the positive charge here represents a charge deficiency you end up seeing this develop so far and then it can resonate between another item or and let's show you that as well this is everything here with the electrophile attaching here in the ortho position and i will talk about it momentarily in this item you have this shuffling occurring over here so your positive charge ends up over here you have a double bond here and a double bond over here and then we can close it out what's the most significant aspect over here when the electrophile attached on your activated ring because there's an alkyl group a methyl group here with regards to the ortho position your carbocation or your positive charge ended up over here and that's a good thing it's not a bad thing and it indicates why this group right here the methyl group or the alkyl group is electron donating because when you have a ortho direction of that electrophile the carbocation will always end up here at this specific position and because this is electron donating and the positive charge represents an electron deficiency it can provide electrons to it and stabilize that charge deficiency hence the ortho direction or the ortho placement of electrophile is a good thing when we have a para direction or a para attack it's called that let's see what happens over here now the electrophile is attaching directly in the para position which is right over here there's a hydrogen the electrophile is attached to here, so we have a positive here. We have this representation. And the resonance structures will be shown to you. We can have a bit of electron shuffling occurring. Here's an arrow. And then this next resonance structure will be here. And you will see momentarily why the para attack is good. Why this alkyl group is a para director. And previously I've shown you why it's an ortho director. Here the positive charge ends up over here. You have a double bond show up over here. And you have a double bond over here. In the next resonance structure you can see over here you'll have this develop over here and let me show it to you you again have the substitute and the electrophile attached here in the para position here's your hydrogen now what you have over here is this your carbocation ends up over here and this is what you have 
you have all of these three resonance structure wherever the positive charge ends up here it's always the most beneficial because again charge deficiency is compensated by electron donation from your alkyl group and this right here from these three just like in the ortho attack the carbocation ending up here at this specific position is the most stable resonance structure because it's located directly adjacent to a group that can donate electrons to that charge deficiency. What happens when we have a meta attack, which is not what is likely to happen with this because this is not a meta director, but you need to see that. When you have a meta attack, this is what will happen. You have your methyl group, you have the benzene. Now the electrophile is attaching here in the meta position. You know there's a hydrogen positive over here. And this is what we have. This can represent our starting point. Electron shuffling or electron movement, however you want to call it the electrophile is still here in a meta position and it will stay over here because we're showing you the resonance structure involved with a meta attack you have a positive charge develop here and this is what you have now look we've bypassed this position it has been bypassed and that's fine let's look at the next one when you look at this next one over here you have again the electrophile in here in the meta position here's your hydrogen and then you have electron shuffling positive charge will end up over here and we can complete out the double bonds and we'll see this. In this resonance structures for the meta attack for this alkyl group, you're seeing that the carbocation has never ended up in this position here, which would be the most stable. It has avoided that position and has shuffled around the benzene ring everywhere except over here. So it's not located directly adjacent to an electron donating hence. In this set of resonance structures, the meta attack is not likely to happen because you're not seeing stabilized carbocation the charge deficiency is not located next to your electron donating group. Hence, the meta attack is not going to happen with a ortho para directing alkyl group. You'll only see the ortho para attack happen because the resonance structures for the ortho para attack were much more favorable than the resonance structures for the meta attack. So that brings us here to the end of this discussion with regards to the methyl group. Now let's look at the trifluoromethyl group. We know the trifluoromethyl benzene is highly electron withdrawing. Electronegative atoms are present on it. It's sucking out the electron density from this benzene ring. It's making it less activated towards an electrophilic attack. Hence, it's a deactivated ring, but we will see it to be a meta director. But what would happen here if, if we saw an ortho attack? If we see an ortho attack, this is what will happen with regards to your resonance structures. You're seeing the electrophile attach here at an ortho position. Here's your hydrogen. When that happens, you can see a carbocation develop over here. These are your double bonds. Then you can have electron shuffling and let's look at your resonance structures here we're looking at an ortho attack you will find that the ortho attack the para attack are not favorable but a meta attack will be favorable anyhow we'll look at that here your carbocation your positive charge deficiency ends up over here and let's look at the next resonance structure you have over here a shuffling and the positive ends up right over here in this position we'll complete the double bonds here and look what we have over here. We have a carbocation present here at the same junction or the juncture where we have a highly electron withdrawing group. This is sucking electrons away from the benzene ring and now suddenly we've placed a positive charge, a charge deficiency. This is from these three resonance structures the most unstable because the charge deficiency is located adjacent to a highly electron withdrawing group. And that will always happen in an ortho directing attack. Your electrophile with a highly deactivating substituent, which is expected to be a meta director with an ortho direction, an ortho attack, you're gonna end up placing a carbocation where it should not be placed. And this is why the ortho attack is not likely to happen over here. A similar situation will arise with the para attack on this type of a substituent. Substituent similar to this would be your nitro group. You can have your carbonyl groups highly electron withdrawing groups attached to your benzene ring will be meta directors and you know these will include aldehydes ketones esters all of that nitrile is another one nitrile group is a meta director and yeah let's get back to it the first resonance structure i'll show you over here with the para attack will be this and let's bring the electrophile right here in the para position here it is in the para position we'll have our positive charge over here now we can do some electron shuffling what happens when we do our electron shuffling look what happens my next resonance structure would look something like this. My positive charge has ended up here. My double bonds are over here and it's a bad thing. My positive charge has ended up in here in this area where I have an extremely electron withdrawing group. It's further destabilizing that charge deficiency. It's unstable. From the three structures I'll show you this is the least stable but in general this entirety is unstable. Para direction is not going to happen over here because your resonance structures are not favorable. And yeah, the last one, 
you have your electrophile over here in the para position let's close it out you will have your carbocation end up right over here and this is what's going to be you have a carbocation here you have one right here the worst position and then here the para attack is not going to happen because your resonance structures are not good the charge deficiency is located right next to a highly electronegative group. The last item and then we are done with this. The meta attack is most favorable because of the resonance structures that you will see. And what will they be? Well, let's show you. When you have this, your meta attack will bring a electrophile right here in the meta position. You can see a positive will be over here and then this can represent your very first resonance structure. And let's look at the next one. You'll notice in all of these instances, this charge deficiency, this positive, will always be located furthest away from your electronegative group. Here's my electrophile, here's my hydrogen. We can do some shuffling over here. We bring a double bond over here and my positive charge ends up here. Then I have the double bond over here. Then let's do another round of electron shuffling when I do that. And look what happens. Our carbocation avoids this specific position in all instances. And it's a perfect thing that we're seeing. It jumps from this step to over here. Here's my electrophile in the meta position, my hydrogen. I have these as my resonance structures. In all particular cases of this specific attack, meta attack, a meta attack, the electrophile has avoided being placed right over here. It's jumping around, but it's never ending up over here at that particular location. And it's furthest away from your electron withdrawing group. Therefore, the meta attack leads to resonance structures which are most stable, even though the ring is still deactivated, but it is still more stable than the ortho and para attack resonance structures. Hence, electron withdrawing groups such as this, the nitro, the nitrile, your carbonyl groups are meta directors and not ortho para directors. Ortho para attacks will always bring you a carbocation located close to your withdrawing substituent, your electron withdrawing substituent. And with that, we end this video. Thank you for watching.